Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the adorable world of our furry friends. Ever wondered if your dog sees you as their mom? Well, here are 15 signs that they do. Get ready to find out if your dog is obsessed with you. Spoiler alert, they totally are. Let's jump right in. First up, something you've totally noticed. Picture this. You're walking to the bathroom at 3 a.m. and suddenly you hear those little pitter-patter footsteps right behind you. It's just your dog, being all cute, following you to the bathroom. They can't stand to be away from their mama for even a second. They want to be involved in all aspects of your life. It's true love. Embrace it. Next up, a surefire sign your dog thinks you're their mom. They bring you their toys. Not just any toy, but their favorite, most prized possession. This isn't just them wanting to play, it's a gesture of trust and love. They're basically saying, Mom, I love you so much, please accept this slightly chewed up stuffed animal. They're sharing the most important things in their life with you, except maybe for food, but hey, it's the thought that counts, right? Does your dog turn into a furry, cuddly octopus whenever you sit down on the couch? It's like they have a sixth sense for when you're about to relax. One minute you're just trying to watch your favorite show, and the next minute, BAM! You're buried under a mountain of fur. It's as if they think the couch is their personal playground and you're the main attraction. Dogs are pack animals, and cuddling up close is a way for them to feel safe, secure, and loved. This behavior is deeply rooted in their instincts, going back to their wild ancestors who huddled together for warmth and protection. Plus, who doesn't love a good cuddle with their furry best friend? The warmth and comfort they provide can be incredibly soothing after a long day. So next time your dog is all up in your space, remember they're showing you love. It's their way of saying, you're my favorite person in the whole world. And maybe they want some of your popcorn. Sharing a snack can be another bonding moment, making your connection even stronger. Chapter 4. They actually listen to you, sometimes. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Jenna, my dog eats garbage and barks at squirrels, but hear me out. When your dog knows you're their mom, they're more likely to listen to you. Your dog has heard every tone of your voice from happy squeals to stern commands. They know you inside and out and they've learned to respond to your voice. So yeah, they might still pretend they don't hear you sometimes. But deep down, they know you're the boss. Chapter 5. The best greeting ever. Imagine this. You've been gone all day and you finally open the door exhausted. Your dog explodes with joy, tail wags, happy yelps, and excited jumps. It's like they haven't seen you in years even though you were only gone for eight hours. Dogs live in the moment and when you walk through the door their whole world lights up. It's pure unadulterated joy and it's honestly contagious. Who can stay mad with a greeting like that? Chapter 6. Sharing is caring, especially when it comes to beds. Let's talk about sleep. If your dog sees you as their mom, they want to be as close to you as possible, even when you're catching some Z's. Maybe they curl up at the foot of the bed or maybe they sprawl out right in the middle. They feel safe and secure sleeping next to their mom. It's like their own little furry security blanket. And who doesn't love waking up to a furry face staring lovingly at them? Chapter 7. The eyes get you every time. We're talking about those irresistible puppy dog eyes, the ones where they tilt their head and give you that look that could melt even the coldest heart. Those eyes aren't just for begging for treats, they're a sign of the deep emotional connection your dog has with you. When your dog gives you those eyes, they're trying to communicate their love and need for you. And let's be real, who can resist those eyes? Chapter 8. Tiny Guard Dog Next up, a sign that your dog sees you as their family. They're protective. Dogs have a natural instinct to protect their pack, and to them, you're part of their pack. Maybe they bark at strangers or stand guard in front of you when they sense danger. It's their way of saying back off, this is my mom and I've got her back. It's adorable and heartwarming. Chapter 9. Kisses for everyone. Let's talk about dog kisses. Specifically, the kind that gets slathered all over your face the second you walk through the door. Dog kisses are actually a sign of affection and bonding. When your dog licks you, they're releasing endorphins that make them feel happy and relaxed. It's like their version of a hug. So next time your dog tries to give you a face bath, embrace the slobber. It's their way of showing you they love you. Chapter 10. They bring you presents? Does your dog ever bring you interesting gifts? Things like dead bugs or half-eaten squirrels? Yeah, it's gross. But remember, this is their way of showing they care. In the dog world, sharing is caring. They're giving you the best gift they can find. So next time your dog presents you with a gift that makes you gag, try not to be too grossed out. Just smile, say thank you, and then maybe discreetly throw it away. Chapter 11. Lean on me. Does your dog ever just casually lean on you? This isn't just them being lazy, it's a sign of trust and love. When your dog leans on you, they're showing you that they feel safe and secure with you. They're saying, I trust you completely, mom. So next time your dog uses you as a furry leaning post, soak it up. Section 12. 
Good boy or girl, does your dog actually listen to your commands? I'm talking about the basics. When your dog follows your commands, it shows that they respect you and see you as their leader. They're saying, you're the boss, mom, and I'm happy to follow your lead. Sure, they might not always obey perfectly, but the fact that they even try shows that they value your opinion and want to make you happy. Does your dog freak out when you leave them alone? Do they start to whine, bark, or even destroy things around the house? Whining, pacing, barking, maybe even a little bit of destructive behavior. These are all signs of separation anxiety. It's called separation anxiety. And while it can be frustrating, it's actually a sign of their deep love for you. Your dog feels a strong bond with you. To your dog, you're their whole world. They rely on you for comfort, security, and companionship. So when you leave, their world feels empty without you. They feel lost and anxious, not knowing when you'll return. It's like they're thinking, mom's gone. Where did she go? When will she be back? What if she never comes back? Dramatic? Yes. But that's how much they care about you. But also kind of adorable, right? Their love and loyalty are truly heartwarming. Just remember, a little bit of separation anxiety is normal. It's a sign of their attachment to you. It just means they love you a whole lot. So next time you leave, know that your dog is eagerly waiting for your return. This next one is probably my favorite sign of all. Does your dog's tail turn into a furry helicopter blade of happiness the second they see you? That, my friends, is pure, unadulterated happiness. It's their way of saying, Mom, you're back, I'm so happy to see you. So next time your dog's tail starts wagging like crazy, know that it's their heart overflowing with love for their favorite human. Last but not least, we've got a sign that your dog is basically your furry little shadow. This is one of the most heartwarming and adorable behaviors you can witness in your canine companion. Do they copy your every move? Like you sit down on the couch, they sit down next to you. You get up to grab a snack, and they're right there following you to the kitchen. Dogs are masters of observation, and they learn by watching us. They pick up on our routines, our habits, and even our moods. It's like they have a sixth sense when it comes to understanding their humans. When your dog starts mimicking your behavior, it's their way of bonding with you. This imitation is a form of flattery and a sign of their deep affection and loyalty. They're saying, you're my mom and I want to be just like you when I grow up. It's their way of expressing love and admiration, showing that they see you as their role model. So embrace your mini-me and get ready for a lifetime of laughter and love. Cherish these moments because they are the foundation of a beautiful and unbreakable bond between you and your furry friend. Thanks for watching. If you noticed any of these signs, your dog definitely thinks you're their mom. Congratulations, you're officially a dog mom. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more adorable content. Tell me in the comments below which of these signs your dog does. See you next time, and give your furry friend a big hug from me, and maybe a treat or two, because you know, treats are love.